Corner store sweep in New Haven. The city busted a number of bodegas it says are causing quality of life issues for neighborhoods. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with why they're cracking down. Matt. Well, Aaron, the city, along with some partners from the state, showed up to a number of corner stores here in the Elm City earlier this morning uh, in New Haven's Hill neighborhood, not only cracking down, but also closing them down. The notices are posted on different corner stores in New Haven's Hill neighborhood, closed to customers for the foreseeable future, or at least until their violations are fixed. We've in particular focused on corner stores that have been problematic in the neighborhoods. The city's police, fire, building and health departments, along with the State Department of Labor and Revenue Services, visited and shut down five corner stores today due to lack of compliance. Uh, today we targeted problem stores that have been uh, a nuisance in the area, mostly for quality of life issues, ranging from drug use to drug dealing, along with loitering. The city says Seven Heaven and the Superstar Food Market, both on Sylvan Avenue, along with 4J's on Davenport and J&N Food and Grocery on Lamberton, all had payroll and insurance issues. And the Howard Mini Mart on Howard Avenue was closed too, which according to the city, also had building and health violations, including food contamination and a leaky roof. New Haven's mayor and police say drug use, drug dealing and loitering around these types of establishments often lead to larger issues in the neighborhoods. Everything from robberies to shootings. And by cracking down now, that's what they're trying to avoid later. Expect businesses to follow the law and we're going to be paying attention in particular to corner stores that um, are the hubs of neg negative activity. And our goal is to get all these stores in compliance so they can be an asset to the neighborhood. And we don't, we're not experiencing these quality of life issues that are taking place here uh, that sometimes graduate into larger, uh, more violent issues. And New Haven's mayor says they will continue to make visits to what they are describing as these hot spot locations around the city. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.